Hi, I'm Gabe Nicotera. Welcome to Hamped Up. Y'all ready for this? Indoor soccer, the most rigorous third-party sport of high school, has many stellar athletes, some of whom do not play soccer for their high school team, like me. Over the past few weeks, I had the glorious opportunity to interview seniors Brett Lavertier and Evan Moulton about their infatuation for the sport. All right, so Evan, what does being on an indoor soccer team give you that being on a high school soccer team lacks? Uh, definitely a winning team. We did not win at all. Well, we won one game, but it doesn't count because we suck. But indoor soccer definitely gives me a better team and a lot of like camaraderie through our team. Brett, can you describe your thoughts and feelings towards indoor soccer as a sport? Um, indoor soccer is just my life. It's everything to me. There's nothing better than indoor soccer. So when you guys step onto the field, who do you like to pretend to be? Uh, definitely Serena Williams. Uh, she definitely brings a lot of effort to what she does, and I like to bring that same amount of effort into my indoor soccer playing. How about you, Brett Lavertier? Uh, I would say Aiden Chap. He is the best at everything ever, including indoor soccer. So I try my hardest to play like Aiden Chap. Great. Thanks so much for being on Hamped Up. No problem. Thank you. I was also granted an interview with first honor roll student Orion McLean, where he described to me the underlying truth of indoor soccer. In comparison to other sports, indoor soccer is much more competitive. Um, there's a whole different feel on the indoor soccer field that causes people to get to need to have the mindset to perform with excellency. People just need to put themselves at a superhuman mental state and so for that reason the sport is very much more competitive. I think the hardest challenge while playing goalie um, is the distractions. Being a goalie you really need to to focus on what is at hand. A lot of times players will try to make it so that your mind is other than where it should be. Uh, for instance there was one occasion um, during a game where there was a player who put himself right in front of me and uh, blocked my vision, got right into my personal bubble. And I had to find a way without receiving a foul to get him out of my way. In order to do so, I, I just blew a little bit right on the back of his neck, distracted him, made him, you know, confused. And so it worked. I stopped the, stopped the ball and got him out of my way. First and foremost, as a team, um, PNS has many, many assets. But if I had to pick the best asset, I would probably, I would honestly, wholeheartedly, choose myself. When it comes to crunch time, I perform at a level beyond the rest. I, I clutch up, so to, say, so to speak. I think that because of my ability to play when the, when the score is close and when the, the game is on the line, that puts me at a, at a level above everyone else. The PNS Indoor Soccer Squad is currently riding in fifth place with a record of three and one. Our next game is today at 6 p.m. If you are interested in playing for an indoor soccer team, go to the All Sport Arena's website at northamptonsoccer.com. Thanks for watching Hamped Up. I'm Gabe Nicotera.